This is the coral cat shark. I've kept a few over the years. They're a very unique looking benthic or bottom dwelling shark. This shark was first discovered in 1830 by zoologist Edward Turner Bennett. Its original scientific name was Cilium marmoratum. The word marmoratus in Latin means marbled. This species is sometimes confused with the white spotted bamboo shark, which more commonly is referred to as the marbled cat shark. In 1913, Samuel Walton Garman, a naturalist and a zoologist, placed this species on his newly created genus Adelomictris, which is where the shark got its current scientific name from, the Adelomictris marmoratus. Here are some interesting facts about the coral cat shark. The coral cat shark's body is very slender. They have a protective eyelid that covers their eyes during the day. This lid comes up from the bottom instead of down from the top like ours. The slender body of the coral cat shark allows it to navigate through small spaces in the coral reefs. From my experience with this species, it's pretty lazy, and I've read that in the wild, it's not so uncommon for them to lay around and wait for their prey to get close enough for them to strike while still laying on the sand bed. The coral cat shark is oviparous, with the female producing only two eggs at a time. The pup or baby shark will develop over a period of four to six months, when the shark will then exit the egg case. From my experience, this shark is very docile and likes to be left alone so that it can rest on the sand bed. They do seem to like hanging out with the other species of sharks, and you can usually find them laying right next to any other shark that is in their system in captivity. Their current status in the wild, according to the IUCN Red List, as of April 30th, 2003, is near threatened. There's also not currently an action recovery plan in place to help repopulate the species in the wild. If you're watching this and you breed this species, please get in touch with me so that we can see what can be done to help the wild populations recover. Let me know in the comments below which public aquariums have this species on display, so that if anyone who's watching this wants to see one in person, they can.